All right, I'm gonna do a quick overview on the bunk bed setup that we modified in the Mantis. So most obviously you have the Mantis, you know that the bunk setup comes kind of down here. It's, it's very um, short. So the kids can't get up, sit up, or do anything like that in the bed. Um, we live in the Mantis full time. So my daughter wanted more space to sit up. She does school over here on her bed. And my son wanted more space to sit up when he was in his bed hanging out. So we had this idea. We found a, it's actually a large swing platform and we have a memory foam mattress. Um, some of the carabiner clips that came with our Mantis trailer that we've kind of rearranged some things. So you just very simply unhook, flip down, We've got a little chain system that latches it into the structure, which I can get some close up shots on. And the bed is down. Now this bed is actually rated to hold 700 pounds. And even though it's not very wide, you guys know that have the mantises, um, you couldn't be a tall person and sleep up here. I can lay down up there with uh, you know, just if we want to chill for a little bit, but it is short. My wife who is shorter than me and my son, who is only seven, have actually both slept up in this bed one night. I wouldn't advise that, but, uh, for my son, it's, uh, quite a bit of space and easy for him to sleep. And he can actually just kind of step on our fridge and then on the counter and get up in there and he can get in and out all by himself. So one more step here just because we are you know, cautious about him rolling out of the bed. We, we did put a net system on this. So the final step here is we utilize the latching points for the roof when you pull it down and you can latch on both sides. And there you go, safety net can't fall out and all this stuff we found through Amazon or online, uh, different, different companies that make the products. And I'll attach those in the uh, description below. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message, make a comment, let me know.